Sydney Silver here with Dave Foley. And what film are you here to support? I am here because I, 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 I did a sort of cameo appearance in a film called uh, Be Forever Now, which is a, it's sort of a, a sitcom uh, set in a uh, uh, sort of like a, what do they call it, a Forever 21 type clothing store about people that are getting too old to be there. <laughs> Uh, working there, and I play a customer who comes, a middle-aged customer who comes in with his young daughter. Do you wear the frilly girl stuff or the boy I stuff? Don't, I don't. I come in wearing just schlubby middle-aged man clothes. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. Um, and it's a film made by these folks here, uh, Jamie and Casey. They made, they they produced and directed and wrote the film. And, and, and what's been the reception here? How did you feel about the reception at the Holly Shorts Film Festival? Uh, the actual res like the reception of arriving here, uh, yeah, I've been enjoying that. It's like a lot of uh, very uh, chaotic and hubbubby and show busy. So I think I think well done, well done, shouting people. I'd like to make you feel special because you are. Works. It works. All right, awesome. Did you have anything that you'd like to give as inspiration to other actors out there? That are no, teammates? I'd like to do anything I can to not inspire other actors. No it's competition. Very competitive, yes, and uh, it's getting harder and harder as I get older. So. All right, thank you so much for the interview. This All is right. Sydney Silver signing out for MCBNews.com. Jason Layden here with MCB News. I'm chatting with Jamie Fox. Casey Geeson. And tell us the film you're here supporting. We are here. We are the writers and co-creators of Be Forever Now. All right. So for the audience, what's it about? Uh, it takes place in a clothing store. It's sort of like a Forever 21 meets BB. And it's a, a comedy. And it's it, it's so hard to say it specifically. Come on, Casey. You can have it's it. like a coming of age for people in their 30s. They should have already had that experience, basically. Should have already so. came of age. So they're still working at the mall. We're still working at the we're the care we play the two Yeah, the I'm in that experience too. I can I well no coming of age, coming of age. 30s, yeah. the whole thing. So who's the director? Who's the producer? Uh, I directed it, okay. and I, we produced it together. And awesome. We what drew you to this? Um, other than coming of age, what was it that inspired this project? Well, um, we Casey and I have worked together for a long time. We met at Second City, so we're always looking for a good story. And everyone's worked in retail, so we we felt like it was a great opportunity to tell this kind of story. And it's dark and it's funny and interesting so the characters are really wonderful that get to work at the store so that's one of our favorite things what's it like um, having your film screened here at the Holly Shorts uh, we were here a couple years ago with a, a short film so we're really happy to be back it's a great festival and it's wonderful to see how it's grown yeah it's really growing. it's really wonderful it's pretty big well you know what there's celebrations after this enjoy the rest of the evening uh -huh.